I'll go. I was looking for some washers and things, and all of a sudden I heard the, and saw and felt this big explosion of stars. Only they weren't up in the sky, and they weren't stars. They were little stainless steel nuts and bolts down at my feet exploding all over the floor because a package that they used to be in fell off the shelf and there they are and that is exactly where they're going to stay unless somebody gets down on the ground and picks them all up one at a time and i don't know which one of y'all are going to do that but rather than wait on y'all to do it i guess i'll just do it myself i can't depend on y'all to do nothing dang i say dang i got I don't really mind. You know, sometimes sometimes you drop something on the ground so you can slow down. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Uh, it don't hurt a man my age to slow down a little bit and pick up screws and nuts and bolts and things of that nature. Especially after I was the one that spilled them. Well, that's a pretty bad container right there. I think we're putting them back into it. Right there looks like a like an exhaust clamp that should be up yonder. <coughs> well, let's start picking them up and we'll figure out where we're going to put them. Get a double handful, I'll go find a bag or something. Probably got some paper baggage around here somewhere. Nice looking little screws and things. They're all over the place. I was going to talk about something. Oh, orbital. Orbital. Somebody called that a reciprocal orbital sander thing. Doodle. I got. I got some of these little sanding pads. And I got a little air buffer slash sander thing around here somewhere that I have never used. Somebody said I ought to use one on this putty that I put down here on the bottom of the Ford. And I think they're right. I was looking at Cutworm's videos and he had all kind of little orbital sand marks up and down the side of his little Triumph Herald where he had been sanding off the old paint. And I thought, man, I'm out here rubbing mine down by hand. And there is some technology out there. I used to have an old vibrating sander. I still, well, I don't know. I loaned it to somebody. I don't know if I ever got it back. But it was uh, for use in a furniture shop. We used to use them old vibrating sanders to sand furniture with. Uh, that was, oh, that was always a ton of fun. I wonder what's in this metal box right here. Oh, let's see. Well, it's got old stuff in it that's rusty and <laughs> I guess I believe it. They'll leave that in there. It's a bigger mess than what I'm picking up. I'll go find me a bag to put these screws in. Anyway, I'll, I think I'll look around after I get these screws picked up and uh, see. I think that orbital sander is over there in the box where I keep all my air tools. What was I saying? Oh, I keep little packages of baggies out here in the garage and that saves me numerous trips into the house to get some. I need some. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing right there. When you get my age, you start trying to preserve the number of steps you take because you find that you get tired. If you don't, you get tired. If you get too tired, you have to, you have to get retired. That makes sense? I'm too tired, so I'll get retired. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, what was we talking about? Orbital sander? Yeah, I think I might have one over in the cabinet back there. Let me get these little things picked up. We'll go rummage around in the air tools and see what we can find. We'll just see what we can find. We might have something good in there. You never know. You just never know. But if I did, I could practice on this fender with one. I could just take one and rub that little spot down there where I put that putty. I'd, I'd kind of like to see that prettied up today. My other task I was going to do, I actually wasn't going to do that spare tire thing, but I got to thinking about it and I just thought it seemed like the right thing to do. But my other thing I was going to do the radio in that Toyota. I can do that too, but I'd kind of like to, let's go explore. Let's have a little fun. Let's go explore the 
world of pneumatic power equipment and see what we got. I have a tendency to save things. Sometimes they ain't even things I bought. Sometimes they're things that somebody gave me. Sometimes they are things I bought. I got some things back here. But I seem to remember I had one of them. this is. I bet you that is a is a spinning one of those little spin sanders thingies. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that is. I think I've got a box somewhere. An old gray box. Y'all can pause. 